JJ Elliott, and I've been a part of the St. Paul's community for 12 years. I will always remember how long we've been coming here because we started with my 14 and 17 year old children, who were two and five, being baptized in the back of the church. And when the seal of the cross was put on my son's forehead, it was two at the time, he was very sad that there was not an actual seal, the animal, present <laughs> at his baptism. We still, he still talks about it. Um, I'd love to share some reasons why we make St. Paul's a priority in our family's annual giving. When I heard this year's theme of tradition, blessings, and possibilities, I couldn't decide which to focus on, because it's the combination of the three that summarizes how I feel about St. Paul's and why our family feels so called to give back. When I think tradition at St. Paul's, I can't help but have a slideshow of memories in my head from years and years of my kids participating in the Christmas pageant. From little angels and shepherds, to narrators and Joseph leading the donkey down the aisle, to now helping direct the younger children, my kids have loved this tradition so much. It's taught them confidence, cooperation, patience, and the value of community. Every year we hang ornaments on our tree with photos of our kids at different ages in different costumes and marvel at how much we love this holiday tradition. It wouldn't be Christmas in our house without it. When I think of our blessings, I immediately think about the community here at St. Paul's. The people who warm my heart with smiles, handshakes, earnest questions about how we are, support when we need it, offers in prayer, a warm coffee being handed over on a chilly day, and the knowledge, even when we are together, that we share our love for God and each other. Just this past month, Reverend Sarah and Bev Hawk and the Monday crew put together a wonderful event to talk about the novel I wrote that was published this past May. As a community, we talked about its themes, characters, mental health, and the value of having people to talk and share with. Those of us who knew each other deepened our connections, and we also got to meet and learn, and new, learn about new friends as well. At St. Paul's, we're lucky to not just be a community, but also a family. As far as possibilities, I see so many ahead for St. Paul's. Already I marvel at the many opportunities that I see as I read the bulletin. Fellowship, travel, philanthropy, fun, and so many more ways to share our faith and grow our community together. As our kids get older and our weekends aren't packed full of games and shows and carpools, I look forward to, giving, to being able to find even more ways to connect with my St. Paul's community and give back. I hope to make it to more Bishop Branch weekends, help expand our community outreach, represent St. Paul's at more events like the San Mateo Pride Fair, and mostly get to know more of you better. We have so much yet to do and accomplish together, and I'm excited for what's next. Thank you to everyone who was called to join me and my family in our prayers and pledges for a healthy, rewarding, and successful future at St. Paul's.